Hello Buzz Touchers. Today's quick clip is about the Buzz Touch file manager. Questions about the file manager seem to come up quite often in the forums and there seems to be some misconceptions about how it's used and what it's for. So I thought I'd take a few minutes and go through it, show you some examples, and hopefully clear up any uh, questions or problems that you might have regarding the Buzz Touch file manager. So the first thing that you need to do in order to use the Buzz Touch file manager is to come into your application uh, via the control panel and you'll notice here I'm in my 5-minute tutorials application it's a test application I use uh, it's a version 2.0 application and uh, that's what pretty much all these tutorials are going to be using from this point forward uh, so you notice here on your left hand side a list of links for things that you can do and if you click on the files media link it will take you to the file manager for 5-minute tutorials now notice that this is not a file manager for the Go Northwest account this is a file manager for a particular app, and in this case, 5-Minute Tutorials. Now, the basic concept about the file manager it is, is that it is a place, as it says here, that allows you to keep all the assets for an application organized. Now, there are some restrictions um, on using the buzztouch.com file manager in the sense that you can't upload audio, video, or PHP scripts. Um, you can put those some other place, like on a web server or Dropbox or something like that. But um, in the self-hosted version of BuzzTouch, you are able to uh, upload all these file types or the file types that are enabled uh, by the person who is allowing you access to their self-hosted BuzzTouch server if you aren't hosting one yourself. But in any event, um, this is a place where you can upload the various assets that are going to be part of your application, and it's also a place that you can use to stream um, in this case, uh, images or other documents um, to your app uh, via a link. So, how do we use this? Uh, it's actually pretty simple. Right here you have the upload file section and you have a choice on where to upload it. Uh, you can upload it to the documents folder or the images folder. So let's go ahead and um, we'll upload an image into the file manager. And um, there's supported file types and PNG is one of them and you just hit upload and it'll upload and you can hide this message and now you notice that in the images folder here uh, we have one image or media that's in there and this is the ad clips um, PNG that I just added. Now let's add a couple documents select the upload to documents and we'll just pick a PDF file and we'll upload that and again in a second it says gives you the confirmation that you've uploaded it and you can hide the message. So let's go ahead and add another file to the documents folder. Um, this time we will do a Word doc and we'll go ahead and pick that and we'll upload it to the documents folder. So now you see um, we'll hide this message. So if you look for all of our files you'll see that all three of the files that we uploaded are here. Um, if you look in the documents folder, you'll see that there are two, an MS Word file and a PDF file. And if you look in images, you'll see that there are one, just like we expect. Um, nothing in audio, video, or PHP scripts, because we are not allowed to do that at the buzztouch.com file manager. So what can you do with these things? Um, if you click the IF all files, just to make it easy, uh, you notice here on the right-hand side, you have the ability to select either all of the files or you can select one or multiple files, whatever you want. Now, what can you do with those? Well, if you look here in the Actions menu, there's a number of things that you can do. First one is to remove files permanently. Um, so you're going to want to do that if you want to delete the file from the file manager. Um, you can also create and download a zip archive, so that will uh, zip them all up and put them in a folder for you, or you can move them to different folders. So let me go ahead and demonstrate the remove files permanently. Um, so I'm going to say no because I don't want to delete all of those. I just want to delete one. We'll delete the uh, Word doc. Remove files permanently. It asks you, do you want to or not? Yes, I do. So we'll hit it. And now it's gone. Hide this message. Now I want to go ahead and download all these files because I then want to include them in my project. So I'll create, so I'll uh, highlight all of them there. And I'll do a create and download zip archive. And it creates the zip archive. And just click on it and you can download it so we'll go ahead and download it and there you go it's downloaded now if we come into it um, and we unzip it 
uh, and we go into it, you notice that there is a documents and an images folder. And in the documents one, we have the document we had. And in the images, we have the images. So exactly what we were expecting. So there you go. That's pretty much it in a nutshell. That shows you how to upload files to the file manager, how to uh, modify them a little bit, move them around, and how to zip them up and delete them. Um, now the important thing to remember here is that this is just a repository for the assets of your application. Um, by adding the files to the file manager for your app, they are not, and let me repeat, they are not going to be included in the source download for your app. So you can put all the files that you want in here um, and they will not be included in the source file for your app. You need to come in here, create the zip file, and um, you know, go ahead and download it that way and then incorporate them into your app, either in the you know, res drawable folder or the BT docs or BT art folder, wherever they need to go. And one last thing that I want to show before we're done, um, if you go ahead and right click on a particular um, uh, media, then you can do a copy link address. And you can take that address and you can put it in as a URL for the um, let me just show you real quick, if I can. Put that as a URL for a media item that you want to link via URL in your application. So essentially you're kind of using it as a Dropbox or something like that. So you could just take this entire link and uh, configure it into your application and uh, it'll access the media that you're looking for. So um, again, that is the uh, BuzzTouch file manager in a nutshell. Um, I do want to stress one more time that the items that you put into the file manager will not be included with the source download for your app. Uh, for your app, you're going to need to come in here if you're using the file manager and select everything and from the actions menu do a create and download zip archive and then extract it and put those assets into the app in the appropriate folders. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please go ahead and let me know in the forums. Uh, this is Go Northwest, and I appreciate you taking the time to watch this. Thanks.